old timers. <laughs> they can't play, so they try to get you know the younger old timers. <laughs> they have some sort of a game to go with. Yeah. It's fun. It's great to be around those guys. It'll be great to see Yogi tomorrow. Of course, we come out with Yogi. <laughs> Your last season, what are you cherishing? What are you able to grab onto? What, what, what's the most meaningful? What's meaningful to you right now as you move into your you know, last half? I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of difficult for me because uh, we have another half of the season to play. So I can't think about this being my last year when we're trying to win games. So Don't it's, go! It's sort of a joke. <laughs> and, and, um, you know, it's something I think maybe we'll hit towards the end of the year. Right now, I'm just trying to enjoy competing because I, I missed pretty much all of last year. You're hitting 275 and playing pretty well. I mean, could you rethink that and maybe stay another year? No, no, this is it. No. Oh, no. Oh, you guys are awesome. We won't tell anybody. Yeah. <laughs> tell everyone. This is it. Was <laughs> <laughs> hard decision? Uh, no, it wasn't a hard decision. I, I think um, I remember talking with Tino uh, before, and he was like, how do you know when it's when it's going to be your last year, when you've had enough. And, and for me, it just hit me that this was going to be my last year. And, and uh, you know, that's it. That's final. The team this year, the league this year, has things changed? Is it a different, is it a different game than right now? What's, what we used to see maybe uh, back in the 90s? When, is it different to win these days? Well, it's a, there's differences. I mean, you see all these shifts and all this stuff that so that's a little bit different than, than when we came up. A fan of it? Am I a fan of it? From the shifts? <laughs> I wish they'd shift me. I don't even know the manager's selling the shit, but uh, it's, it's, it's different now. There's a lot of computer elements to the game now, which I think in, in that sense has changed. The evenness, though. It just seems like anybody can win on any given day. It reminds me a little of the NFL. Like, do you feel that is uh, a good thing? Do you feel like what's the league right now is it's a good thing? Or? Yeah, it's a good thing. I mean, you want competitive balance. I, I believe that's what we have. Uh, you know, what we did, our teams did back in the day, and that's very difficult to do. I mean, you have to be, you have to have a good team to make it to the postseason. You have to be hot to win. Um, you know, we're fortunate to win a lot uh, in the span of a short period of time. But, but now it seems like any, any team um, has a chance. I, mean, I, I like that. If you're a fan, you have to, you have to like that. Yeah. You always talk about this as you know the mental, you know the mindset, the you know the focus and the toughness. Um, do you see? Is is it that right now? With you know, teams just coming together, there's a lot of new faces. But is it? Hard to kind of get that kind of, you know, that competitive toughness and to get everyone engaged? I don't think so. We have a lot of veterans on our team. We have guys that have been around for a long time. Uh, we have a team that doesn't give up. Um, we, we grind it out, and, and you know, I like what I've seen so far. Really? I like what you I like it too. A lot of characters. You ever see his mannerisms now are so much different when he's just the moderator? You know? <laughs> <laughs> he loves this. He loves the attention. <laughs> He knows everything. I'm <laughs> <laughs> expert on all sports. I'm just speaking for all the fans. It's not that I think I know everything. I'm just speaking for all the feedback that I get. Because, you know, Yankee fan, you have to realize I'm a diehard Yankee fan. All right. Oh, I'm going to say something. <laughs> <laughs> diehard on the knee train, an hour and a half each way. Yeah. See that right field? All right. So, this, you know, it's a long way from that Brooklyn kid, but still. Um, I still enjoy, I still watch Yankee baseball very rarely this year at bats. Is that right? Mm -hmm. If I'm doing something else, I'm, I'm trying to keep the game on. I, I've only seen every, so many here at bats. So this way, when I'm with you, I can give you feedback. How important is preparation? You're, you, you were a big character. I was to be prepared, but uh, you asked a different question earlier, you know, why he looks so good, whatever is going on. And I've seen him for years in Tampa. I mean, 
his work routine is ridiculous. With a trainer in the morning, and he eats right, he does so many things that, you know, early in the morning, 5.30, 6 in the morning, works out, he hits, he does a lot of stuff to prepare for every season. And he's done that for years and years. And uh, uh, I think a lot of people think that, you know, you go to the gym for 30 minutes, or work, work out, you go home, you go on vacation and all that. It's not like that. I mean, Derek's got this routine, it's ridiculous, but you gotta be prepared. I mean, on a daily basis, you gotta be prepared. Uh, before the game, the off season, you gotta be in shape, you gotta be prepared. Who you're facing that day, and you always you don't want to be caught off guard. And if you are, you kind of lose a little bit of an advantage. And how did you go about your preparation? Were you a big video guy? Were you just, uh... Um, I would go. Uh, you know, for the most part, you face the same guys all the time. You know most of the pitchers. Every now and then, a new guy comes to the league. Um, so you know what they're going to do. Is probably going to try to get you out. And sometimes I go to the video machine, watch my last at bats against him, against him, and see what he did to me. And certain counts, he'll probably try to get me out. And he may change the next game. Like you know, I would change. You know. An approach against him as well. When you, when you think about his, when you think about his uh, just over the approach to the game, how, how do you rank his competitive spirit? Oh gosh, that's that's. And the, the, Derek's really cool in the field, you know. He's he's really a cool player, a laid back kind of player there. But he's got a fire inside him that wants to win all the time. And I've driven home with him the last couple of years in game. I'm not playing. I'm just waiting for him to take me back to the city. And we lose the game in May or in June. It's like he's just pissed. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's like, man, Derek is too, man, it's all right. No, man, you know, <laughs> it's awesome, which is a great thing. That's why it's so driven and so successful. Mm -hmm. I've never seen you out there, I mean, when I was thinking, I rarely see you out there looking at all, at least bit frustrated or angry. Is that kind of by design? I hide it. I've been pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, we, is it, is it the three, the, sometimes I can see like it's, you know, no. 12, 13, is it the penalty of the glove or? No. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are competitive, but who, besides yourself, who, who are some of the competitive guys you've played with that really like, that you've actually been able to enjoy and watch? A lot of guys. Tino's competitive. I'm not just saying it because he's out here. You know, Tino is competitive. Um, you know, we have a lot of guys that could. Once you win, you get used to it. That's all you want to do, and, and it bothers you when you lose. Um, you know, we had a group of guys that felt that way. You know, Jorge was the same way. Mo, I mean, Mo didn't play every day. And he expected a lot. Of, these are a group of guys that came up through the organization. We learned from guys like Tino and, and um, guys that came up when you know a little older than us when we first came up. How do you get? I mean, I get crazy when you guys lose. Like, how do you, I can't imagine what it would be like playing, putting everything out there. How do you get through it? I mean, how do you put that behind you? Don't read the papers, don't listen to the radio. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, basically, we play it, I mean, it's a, it's a game of failure, and, um, you know, people pay so much attention. Everything is negative now, which can be frustrating because, you know, you guys, uh, well, I shouldn't say, shouldn't stereotype everyone. People assume we show up at 6, 6.30 and play a game at 7, but we're there at 3 o'clock when we're working and we're answering questions, and a lot of times the questions are negative. Um, so I just personally try to stay as optimistic as possible. So I pay, I don't pay much attention to that. We play every single day. There's going to be times when you struggle. There's going to be times when you're good. You're usually not as bad as you look when you're struggling, and you're usually not as good as you look when you're going good. You have to be able to um, sort of stay on an even keel and realize that you have another game. Is there a place you go when you are struggling a little bit? Where, where you go to get that feedback or to get you back on track? Is it any coach? Is it? No, I, I, it's, it's over with. It's done with. I mean, you learn from it. Everyone makes mistakes. I just try to learn from my mistakes. But um, I try not to take it home. And Tino was joking about car ride right home. But once I get home, I'm not watching highlights and watching replays of the game. Turn to foundation and uh, your charity. Uh, you started the foundation, uh, the foundation in 96. 